Hi, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Sutton. I'm the Scientific Research Director at Women's Hospital in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The title of my walkabout today is Identification of Modifiable Population-Specific Risk Factors for Cesarean Delivery in Nulliparous Term Singleton Vertex Obstetric Patients. So let's break down that title a bit. Um, a cesarean section. This is a surgical procedure that we use to deliver a baby through incisions in the abdomen and uterus, commonly known as a C-section. This is your alternative to a traditional vaginal delivery. And while cesarean births are medically, can be medically indicated and life-saving, there is a low-risk population um, among which the Joint Commission targets and monitors to try to reduce cesarean delivery rates. They're called our NTSB population. Nulliparous, meaning first-time moms, term, meaning past 37 weeks, singleton, meaning baby um, is alone, so there's no twins or triplets, and vertex, so the baby is head down in a good position uh, for vaginal delivery. So these are your moms, when they come in for labor and delivery admission, that should, barring extenuating circumstances, go on to have a vaginal delivery. So the reason that this is a targeted population is that there is evidence that cesarean deliveries uh, lead to significant maternal health complications and costs. And so it's an, um, a good opportunity to target a low risk population to try to reduce cesarean rates. And so our improvement area was to try to do that in our own NTSB population at Women's Hospital in Louisiana. Now the Joint Commission adopted this as a metric. So it's a reportable metric if you have more than 300 births a year at your institution since 2010. And the Healthy, 20, Healthy People 2020 metric goal, um, of course it's 2020 now, but the goal was 24.7% of your NTSB patients or less um, should have a cesarean delivery. And so of course to have a goal, you have to know where you came from. So our baseline, when we uh, were looking for a baseline for process improvement, we chose 2012 and our delivery rate for um, C-section deliveries in our NTSB population was 34.6%. So about 10% above the um, healthy people 2020 metrics. So what did we decide to do? We wanted to reduce C-section rates in these low time, uh, these low risk moms. And so we planned to identify predictors and risk factors of our own personal NTSV patients that progress to cesarean delivery. So that means looking at our own data, aggregating our data from beginning in 2012 of patients that were NTSV when they presented for labor and delivery. We cleaned and validated the data set. We looked, um, we did an analysis with binary logistic regression to identify predictors slash risk factors for these NTSV patients that went on to have a C-section. And then we made a report and presented it to our physicians. And then we worked, the hospital and the physician groups collaborated on a policy change based on the results that we found. And the two significant predictors that we uncovered within our data for C-section in our NTSV low risk population were Bishop score and cervical dilation at time of amniotomy. So Bishop score is a score um, that has several components to it, but it gives you an idea of a patient's cervical readiness or their readiness to deliver. And cervical dilation at time of amniotomy means how dilated a patient's cervix was when they had their membranes artificially ruptured by their healthcare provider. And with this information, we made a policy change. We, um, or the institution and the physician practices, decided to add Bishop score assessments and documentation at labor and delivery upon um, admission, so prior to labor augment, augmentation and throughout the laboring process. And it was also added Bishop score to the nurses' notes. And then the CMO did a training on how to assess Bishop score and then how to document the scoring and how the scoring works. So that was our intervention. And I'm um, excited to show that post-intervention in 2019, our institution's C-section delivery rate in NTSV patients was 25.2%. So we're only a couple decimal, tenths of a decimal off from the 2020 healthy metric, which is really amazing. So that's a minus 9.4%. Um, and our physician champion, one of them that um, was a really strong advocate for our policy implementation, their uh, NTSB C-section rate decreased um, from 38.9% to 19.4%.
So lessons learned. I think the biggest lessons learned for us is that approaching this process improvement through a local lens is effective. Looking at our patient population who is unique in Louisiana, um, at what risk factors might be affecting our NTSD population specifically, and then targeting our interventions to them. And I think one of the biggest lessons learned is that this has been an example of the power of data transparency. So now Bishop score and dilation at timing of amniotomy or rupture of membranes has been added to our labor and delivery application within Health Catalyst. So these data are accessible in real time um, with just a click of a button. And then because of the data accessibility and transparency, our physician practices um, and their representatives can monitor and do monitor our NTSV C-section rates weekly. Exactly.